Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, XFA Fitness Channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you like our videos, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every single time that a new workout comes out. We're trying to do as much as we can for you. Again, don't forget to check out Riptism.com. Today we're promoting Riptism 2, which is our, another 60-day program we have on there. All kinds of muscle confusion, you're really going to get in amazing shape with that one. Today's workout is a kettlebell workout. I love kettlebells. I started using them a few years ago, and I'm really, really excited to give you a kettlebell workout today. If you don't have a kettlebell, hit pause, run out and get one, and then come back and do this workout with me, okay? All I'm going to use today is one kettlebell. I just got one here. I've got a 44-pounder, 20 kilos. So that's all I'm going to use today, just one kettlebell. We're going to keep the moves relatively simple. We're not going to get into a lot of complex moves, but you're going to see how much kettlebell training can increase your strength and your cardiovascular stamina and all that amazing stuff for fitness, all with just one little piece of equipment here. I do have a jump rope, which we might do a little jump rope at the end. If you have one at home, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Today's workout is five moves, and we're going to have five rounds of those moves. So each move is going to be 30 seconds to a minute long, depending on the move. And then we got a, a 10 second break in between. We're going to set up for the next move and go right into it. All right. So follow along with me at home. We're going to do a quick warm up here, about a minute, minute and a half long. If you need longer than that, hit pause and stretch. I've already warmed up a little bit, so let's just jog out a little bit here. Okay. Get those knees up like we always start. All right. Just get the heart rate up a little bit. Today's workout's going to be about 35 minutes long total. So there's plenty of, plenty of activity in there for you for that time period. So you're gonna get a lot of volume in in that amount of time, okay? Wide feet, let's reach over. That's it, reach over. Stretching out the core, because you use the kettlebell, when you're using the kettlebell, you're using the core on basically every single move, all right? So let's get those obliques stretched out. Let's go down, hands and knees, up, and exhale, round the back out. Okay, breathe in, arch up, exhale out. All right, let's do a couple of quick squats here. We're gonna get the glutes involved in every single move. All right, nice. Now let's do some side to side punches, all right? Keep it low with the knees, keep it low with the knees. Here we go. All right, that's it. All right, that's our quick warm up. If you need more, hit pause and start. I'm gonna set my watch right now so I can track myself. And I'm gonna go with a single kettlebell swing first move. So Grace, basically grab your kettlebell right here Swing it through, start out in the front, swing it back, and shoot up. Okay, if you're not familiar with kettlebell stuff, this might not be the workout for you, so I want you to learn the basics first, come back here, and then hit this with me. Okay, we're gonna go in three, two, one, here we go. Up, swing it up. And again, if you're familiar with kettlebells, you know you wanna drive with the hips, okay? Drive with the hips, drive with the glutes, try to keep the feet about shoulder width apart. You don't wanna have too much of a bend in the back. And we're basically just shooting up every single time, trying to get that kettlebell up to our chest level, okay? That's it, we're gonna go higher with it later. Stick around here. So this is our first move, kind of a warm up, but we're already starting to feel it with the heart rate. Five more seconds like this. Okay, 10 second break, set that down. Next move we have is a kettle swing squat. Same thing we just did, but we're gonna squat as it's up each time. Ready? Three, two, one, boom, just like that. So you're squatting as you're going down. Now pick a kettlebell. That's a good weight for you, okay? You can mix them up. I happen to have one here, but if you have more here at your place, or if you have an adjustable one, you can set the level to what you need, the weight to what you need, okay? One should really do it, though. You know, find one that you're comfortable with, but that challenges you, and go with that amount. So we're just squatting down every single time it comes up. Three, two, one, we got our break, 10 seconds. Next thing we're doing, one leg deadlift, okay? Single leg. Going down, opposite hand, and here we go. Down, up, down, up. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. This move is a minute long. Because we're gonna do 30 seconds on the left, 30 seconds on the right. If you lose your balance, put your foot down, come back up, breathe, and get right back into it, okay? I'm doing the best I can. This is not my strongest move in the world, but I'm doing the best I can. And it's three, two, one. Switch to the other side. Left arm, right leg. Here we go. All right. Just like that. So you're going to start to feel this in the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back. But you're going to work on your grip strength and your shoulders as you come up. Keep it back, okay, each time. 
You're gonna start to feel that leg burn. Whoop, heart rate's gonna be increased, that's okay. A little bit of a misstep for me. I keep going, four, three, two, one, down. Now we got the kettle swing overhead, so we're gonna swing and bring it up overhead. Really throw the hips up on this one, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. So swing it, and bring it up overhead. Swing it, bring it up overhead, that's it. If you find your feet need a little adjustment in between, that's okay. You go up and you do that. So this is it. Nice work at home. Keep it going, keep the focus, keep your grip tight on that kettlebell. You don't want it to go flying through the ceiling. That's gonna cost a few bucks in repairs, I'm sure. Three, two, one. We got our break. Next move we're doing, squat. Upright row, come down, lunge left, lunge right, follow me. Three, two, one, here we go. So, squat, bring it up, down, lunge it to the left, come up, switch hands, lunge it to the right. Okay, this is a one minute move. Squat, upright row, left, right. Okay, nice and slow on this one. Oh, I forgot the squat, here we go. Upright row, left, I want to leave that out. There we go. Squat, upright row, left, right. That's it. Keep going. So now we're working the upper body, lower body, all at the same time. Okay, we're keeping the move simple. We're not doing anything crazy. We just have one weight in our hands, and we're stepping, and we're moving our body. That's all we're doing. Eight more seconds. Keep going. All right, this is the last move in our first round. Three, two, one. Now we got a nice 30 second break. Grab yourself some water. So now you know the moves. So give it your all in the second round. 20 more seconds, we're going right back into it. You can see, just using that one weight, we're not really doing like cardio type moves. Heart rate's high, okay, I'm already 150. Eight more seconds, we're going right back into that standard kettle swing, okay? Down and up. Three, two, one, here we go. So, bring it up, that's it. So if you like kettlebells, like I do, this is a great workout for you. And if you're new to kettlebells, this is also a great workout for you, because we're doing basic moves here, okay? And just go online, or take a course, get a tutorial down for the basics, and you'll be safe, and you'll get this move, these moves down, and you'll be able to enjoy this workout too. Three, two, one. Okay, next set. Kettle, swing, squat. So as we come up, we're squatting down. Same thing, three, two, one, swing, squat. Set, swing, squat. All right, this one, if you're not familiar with this move, you might need maybe a little bit lighter weight in the beginning, but you'll see how it doesn't really matter the, heavy, the weight of it going up because you're using your hips to shoot that weight up. All right, bringing it down, that's where you need to control it. Three, two, one, cut our break. Back to those deadlifts. Start on the left leg first, holding with the right hand. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Up, down, up, down. Now I'm putting the foot down right now. I'm gonna try do a couple without that. Get that good balance, work that core a little bit more. There we go. Need to bend the knee a little bit, that's fine. For stability, I'm doing that. All right, 10 more seconds like this. Three, two, switch. Over, other side, right away. I'm taking breaks here. Here we go. Get my balance, and I'm up. Okay, so you wanna to try to straighten all the way up when you come up. All right, that's it. Put down for a few. Work on the form. That's it. You're really gonna feel this in those glutes, all right? If you're not used to using kettlebells, it's a whole different game than dumbbells. Different kind of workout. Your center, your point of gravity is all different. All right, kettle, swing, overhead. Probably the most advanced move in the circuit here. Here we go. 
three, two, one, back, all the way up. You know, bring it as high as you can. Feel safe. You wanna go all the way up over your head, that's fine. You wanna go about three quarters of the way up, that's good. The idea is that we're shifting our weight enough in the hips to bring that kettlebell high up. And again, really focus on your grip here, okay? You don't wanna lose control of this and have it come crashing down on you. Three, two, one, get our break. Watt, upright row, lunge left, lunge right. This is our end of our second round here, coming up, ready? Three, two, one, hold it here. Squat, upright row, lunge it left, lunge it right. Good, so squat, upright row, lunge it left. Here we go, feeling it now. Now I'm using, like I said, 44 pounds. If you need to go heavier, go heavier than me, okay? This is actually the only dumbbell that I, I mean, only kettlebell I have here right now. I ordered some more, but only one arrived. So I'm using what I have today, okay? So in the future, we can do more. But right now, I'm making the workout work for the equipment that I have. All right, you can see, this is not easy. I'm working hard, and that's what you should be doing too. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's grab some water again. Heart rate, check still, oh, up higher now, 163. So, we're really pushing it. Right back to the top again, it's top of round three. Let's go. Back to that swing, standard swing, good form. Kettlebells in front of you to start out. You can pitch back, feet shoulder width apart. Three, two, one, here we go. Kick it up, that's it. So this motion, it should feel pretty simple to you, right? It's not like you're pressing shoulders, uh, pressing dumbbells above your head, or doing push-ups. You're just using your body to force the weight up, okay? If you do that safely and correctly, you're gonna see amazing results. It's just another kind of way to work out. We don't have to work out every single day with dumbbells or body weight. Change it up. Three, two, one, got our break. <sighs> Going back into that swing squat. Five more seconds, not a lot of rest here. We're getting right to it, just enough time to set up. Three, two, one, here we go. Squat, 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 that's it. So once you get that timing down, you'll feel it. Your legs should be burning. Your glutes will be burning on this one. And if they're not, it feels like it's too easy, step up the weight a little bit for me, okay? Increment up, a couple more pounds, five more pounds. See how that feels. Bet you it's gonna be harder. Three, two, one. All right, got our break. Back to those deadlifts. Here we go. Three, left hand, sorry, left leg, right hand. Go. That kettlebell weight is never even with your hands like it is in a dumbbell. It's always pulling down, which makes it completely different, a whole new type of feel. Makes it harder for you, okay? So you might find three, two, one, we're gonna switch. You might find that you might be able to do a heavier weight with dumbbells on this type of a move than you will with kettles. But that's, that means your body's adapting that means you're working. That means you're getting more fit and you're getting better at things you're weaker at. You can see this isn't my best move, but I'm working on it. I wanna keep getting better. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, okay. Overhead swing. We're moving here, we're moving. Approaching the end of round three here, but got more to do. Three, two, one, here we go. Up overhead, come on. Up overhead, up overhead. <sighs> nice. Okay, so try to bring it as high as you can. I'm just going maybe about 80, 
a little weight above my head right now. All right, maybe a little more, but doing what I can. Three, two, one, got our break. Back to our complex, squat, upright row, plunge left, plunge right. Let's get on it. Three, two, one, squat, upright row, right hand, left lunge, left hand, right lunge, that's it. Squat, upright row, that's it. You can hear I'm breathing heavy, I'm sweating. We're grooving, we're moving, getting it done. 35 minutes today. A lot of people like that longer workout. Sorry, I missed the squat we had last week, but this workout's got just as much volume in it for that amount in a shorter amount of time. So you don't always have to have a longer workout. Okay, if you can get it in in a shorter amount of time, more intensity, then you'll get the same results without having to dedicate as much time to it. Dedicate your energy. You don't have to get it, dedicate as much time. That's it. Make a promise with yourself. Three, two, one. Make a promise with yourself that with every single move, every single repetition, you're gonna give it your all. And that's where you're gonna see the results. That's where you're gonna see the change, okay? Just showing up is great. But showing up, giving it everything you have. That's where you're gonna see the results and success. 15 more seconds in our break. Going right back top. I think this is round four we're getting onto here. So, keep it up, five more seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, standard swing. Up, that's it. I taught somebody yesterday who had never done kettlebells before this move, and they were using light weight, which is good. Stay safe. But by the end of the workout, we'd only done about maybe four or five rounds of this. They were already sore. The core was already killing them. So you can sculpt those abs. Build the strong midsection, just doing this right here. Four, three, two, one. Got our break. Whew. Right back to that kettle swing squat. I love this workout. Oh, it's great. My favorite thing to do. Three, two, one. Swing and squat. Here we go. Squat. Squat. That's it. Nice. So just give us everything you have here for this 30 seconds, okay? That is going to give you the results that you deserve. Put in the effort. Get the reward. Come on. Five, four, three, two. That along with consistency, especially in diet. Consistency in diet and showing up to do your workouts. That's where you're going to see it. All right, deadlifts. Left leg, right arm, go single leg. If this is too hard for you and you can't do it, here's what I want you to do. Just want you to do like this, okay? Just deadlift like that. Two feet, it's fine. That's fine. Because I know this is a tough move initially. Or just forget the kettlebell, okay? And just do it with no weight. So a lot of balance, a lot of core, legs burning the whole time. And switch in three, two, one. Other side, here we go. So again, be smart, find what works for you, and next time, try to go harder. Maybe you do one or two like this, then you gotta go to the two hand, two feet, or maybe you gotta drop the weight and finish out with no weight. As long as you're giving it your all and giving your full energy, that's all I care about. That's what we're here about at XFA Fitness and Riptism, okay? Three, two, one, got a break here. 10 seconds, swing overhead. All right, let's get into it. Three, two. So I'm giving you just enough time really to catch your breath and just set up for that next move. I mean, it's barely a rest at all. So you're really just gonna be working hard for about 32 straight minutes. Then you bring in the uh, warm up and the cool down and you're at that 35 minute mark, all right? And more seconds, let's go. Get it up there, get it up there. Four, three, two, one. Get our break, sweating unbelievably here. Back to that complex move. Squat, upright row, left, right. Here we go. 
and go. Squat, upright row, left, right. Again, this moves a minute long. Upright row. All right, we're doing a complex here. We're doing left, right, up, down. And when you come up from that squat, if you're using a heavier kettlebell, use that momentum to bring the weight up into the upright row, okay? It's there for you, use it. It's different than a dumbbell workout. You want the full body involvement. You want that core engagement, all right? Don't be afraid to give it a little bit of a kick, all right? Boom, all right? That's gonna increase that heart rate, get that fat burning going. All right, 10 more seconds, come on. That's it. Give me one more good one here. Go. Up, down, left, right. Okay. 30 seconds left. So, again, this is the type of intensity that you're going to see in Riptism. If you sign up for the Riptism program, riptism.com, you'll see these short rests, high intensity focused workouts every single day. There's no escaping that you are going to get in amazing shape. So sign on today if you haven't already done that. Right back to the top, kettle swings, here we go. Three, two, one. Back into our fifth round here. Okay, that's it. That's it. Get tired now. Ten more seconds, come on, give it your all. Really thrust those hips forward. Squeeze those glutes at the top, okay? Engage those quads. That's gonna get it done. Three, two, one. 10 second rest, come on. Right back to the kettle swing, squat. Up, squatting on the way down. Three, two, one. Bring it back, squat, that's it. Squat. Leave enough distance between your legs so you feel comfortable. You don't wanna be too wide or too narrow. Too narrow, you could hit yourself. The kettlebell, too wide you can compromise that back position. So just go shoulder width. Okay, that'll do it. So what's not getting worked here? You can feel it. Chest and the shoulders, definitely in the legs, for sure. Three, two, one. And my heart rate's up. 160 still, 160. Right back to that deadlift. Left leg first, holding with the right hand. Ready, down, up. That's it. Slowing down a little bit on this one. Getting a focused move here, right? But you still have to keep that heart rate high. Still have to engage that core. Working on that balance with every single move. Not letting up. Come on. Oh, that's hurting me now. Three, two, one. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Right away, up, and down we go. This right leg of mine is not cooperating today for some reason. But I'm gonna do my best. Keep through, keep going through each and every single repetition the way it needs to be done. Eight more seconds, can you do it? Yes, you can. Don't give up on me. Put the foot down, I need to. One more, three, two, one. Got our break, 10 seconds, that's it. Swing, overhead, come on. Three, two, one, back, bring it up. Back, shoot it up, that's it. So control it on the way down. You gotta let it fall. When that pendulum swings to the bottom, I want you to control it. You're gonna have to engage your core, engage your quads, glutes and everything. So you can shoot it right back up again. Come on. Five, four. Three, two, up. Okay, back to our squat, upright row. Lunge, lunge. Here we go, three, two, one. Come on, squat, upright row. Lunge left, lunge right. I'll be surprised tomorrow if your legs are not hurting, okay? We're going after them today. Lower body's getting killed here, along with the core. And if you haven't done kettlebells before, you're definitely gonna feel it. 
you're gonna feel sore, but that's fine. That means your body's adapting, changing, and growing to become a better you. Keep going. Up, that's it. These minute moves are killer, right? When you're only used to that 30 seconds, then you double it up, it's a little harder. Come on, that's it. Nice control, focus energy the whole way. Get a little bit, maybe half rep in here. Three, two, all right. 30 second rest. You know what? Let's do another round. I'm feeling good. Another round, just like that. Then we'll hit the bonus. So rest up, we got 20 seconds. I'm drenched. I'm wearing a black shirt so you can't see it, but the floor is drenched. I'm dripping everywhere. All right, we're just doing five moves, half hour workout. What could be better than that, right? One piece of equipment, that's all you need. Three, two, one, back to that standard swing. Here we go. Up. That's it. So you shouldn't even be using your arms at all, okay? They're just there to provide the point of pivot, okay? You're just holding on as tight as you can with those hands. Not a super tight grip, but tight enough that it's not going anywhere. And all the energy that's driving those, that kettlebell up's coming from your hips and your lower body. Three, two, one, break. Only 10 seconds. Come on. Swing squat. Three, two, one, here we go. Back, spot it, okay. See, I made a little foot adjustment there. A little wide to begin with. Bring it in, you can do that too. That's okay. Or stop and reset yourself, all right? Don't get stuck in a dangerous position. Shoulder width, okay? Keep going. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. 10 second rest, that's all we got. Back to the deadlift. All right, this is the hardest move for me. Right hand, left leg. Here we go, down, touching, and bring it up. You don't have to touch the weight. I'm using it for a little bit of help right now. I'm getting tired, left leg's burning. I'm not gonna touch every time, but when I need it, I will, you do the same. Okay, same thing, put the foot down if you lose your balance, or stop. And on the right side, if you're like me, weak on the right, weaker on the right side right now, do that two-legged one, okay? Three, two, one, down, switch over. Right leg, left arm, here we go. Now that I set it, my right leg's feeling a little bit better, okay? I loosened it up. So if you have issues with that, some hip flexor stretches, which I should have done a little bit more of before we started, Right? Make sure you incorporate that into your warm up routine. Three, two, one. Not everybody is super flexible. I got my good and bad days, okay? Going to the swing overhead. Let's push it here. Three, two, one. Back. Swing it up overhead. That's it. Notice my back is staying. Flat as I go down, I'm not rounding out the back, okay? That's an important part of staying safe with the kettle, right? Get to the end of the workout here. I'm pushing five, four, three, two, break. Got our complex move here. Squat, upright row, lunge left and right. Three, two, here we go. Squat, upright row, lunge it left, lunge it right or right left at home, whatever you gotta do. Fine. Squat, upright row, lunge it left, lunge it right. Nice. Squat, upright row, lunge it left. So if you got those kettlebells at home and you haven't used them in a while, now's a great time to dust them off, get back into kettlebell training. Make it part of your routine, you know? You don't have to use it for every single exercise like we're doing here, although that's a great way to do it, but mix it in, you know? 
We'll do some uh, workouts coming up here where we do dumbbells and kettlebells in the same workout. Today we're just getting them introduced to you on the channel. So if you have them, bring them out. If you don't have them, run out and get them, okay? Four, three, two. Lots of options out there. I've got, like I said, literally one here. I've got actually two. I got a pair. I just got one weight. That's it. So I'm going to get a couple more weights, some lower, some higher. But they make adjustable ones too. Good value. And they're quick changing. You can get them, uh, you know, most local retailers have them, okay? So this is the end of our, this is the end of our regular workout here. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. But we're going to do some jump rope. All right. I'm going to jump rope for one minute straight, which means I'm going to try to do double unders for one minute. I'm going to get my weight out of the way. If you can't do double under jump ropes, then do singles, okay? Just like this. Just like this. All right. I'm probably going to mess up on the double unders. I'll uh, restart again, okay? But if you can't do doubles, don't do doubles. I'm going to try and do them for one minute. I'm probably going to have to take a rest, but I'm going to push my hardest. This is the bonus. Go. Start out with some singles I already messed up. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. So just, if you can't jump rope or if you don't have a jump rope, then I just want you to mimic the jump rope without it, okay? Just bounce up and down, just like I'm doing here. That's it. Almost halfway done. Three, two, one. We got 30 more seconds, come on. Push it. After this, workout's over. Cool down is coming up. Again, you don't have to have the jump rope. Ah, messed up. Keep going. Here we go. 10 seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Done. And I rang the bell on the pull-up bar at the end. All right, nice work. I'm just gonna take my hands to my knees and recover here for a second, all right? Whew. That was a tough one to end it out. Quick bonus move like that. If you didn't have a jump rope, I'm gonna take a knee. Or if you don't have one, give me some cardio, cardio move, okay? Go back, give me a mountain climber, give me a burpee, give me something. That's a good way to end a workout right there. Good way to start it too. So. Let's cool down, all right? Let's get down on our hands and knees. Let our heart rate come down. Did a lot of lower back work today, so let's start it again with inhaling up, exhaling out. Try to make that breath come down. Inhale up, exhale out. Nice, one more time. Inhale up, exhale out. All right, let's go down in a child's pose here. Check this, I did 510 calories in the roughly 30 minutes we've been working out, okay? And my average heart rate, right around 150. So that's an incredible workout for you in that short amount of time. Using nothing more than just that one kettlebell and a little jump at the end. Stretch up out, stretch out that right side of the back, the lats there, lower back. Let's reach over to the other side. Same thing. Nice work. All right, palms facing you. Stretch out those forearms a little bit because we were gripping really hard today. Look at those stretch out. Lean back a little bit on those. Very nice, very nice. All right, come on up. Sumo squat position. Let's get those glutes stretched out. Inner thighs, push out with the elbows as you're down in this position. Okay, try to keep the back up, head up, nice and straight. Great. Let's stick that left leg out. Keep the right leg bent forward if you can. Can't go down this low, just go as low as you can go, all right? That's the end of our official timer. I'm just gonna stretch out just a few more seconds here. That's it. I wanna make sure we cool down safely and properly. Important. All right, come on up. Keep our hands on the ground. Left hand down, right hand up. That's gonna hit the lower back. Stretch it out nicely for you. As well as stretching out these hamstrings back here. Nice, all right, switch side. Right hand down, left hand up. Great, now let's shoot back to the plank and hit downward dog. Pedal the feet out again. 
kind of going back to the way we started here, rounding the whole workout out. Nice. All right, come back into upward dog. That's it. Push left and right a little bit. You really went after that core today. All right. Nice. That should do it for us. Let's just do a quick shoulder stretch on the side. We did work, work those shoulders for a lot today. All right. You'll feel it tomorrow. You know that. You know how it goes. Great work. Okay, so once again, thanks for signing on with us today. We just blasted a great 35 minute workout. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell. You will be notified every single time that we do a new workout. We're trying to do as many as we can for you. And once again, we have a lot of, a lot of workouts, programs, bonus material, nutrition guide, everything on ripdism.com. Today I'm really promoting ripdism too because it's so different than ripdism one and it's a great way to change up your workouts another full 60 day routine, 60 plus days actually on that one. So you're gonna hit everything in a totally different fashion than you would in any other workout that's out there really. So check it out, support us there, and thanks so much again for doing it and we'll see you guys very soon.